too comfortable in English. But um, I'm going to try to um, to have your request um, uh, been done. Um, as you asked me uh, to do a video for you guys there in Ireland. So here I am and um, I wanted just to to tell you that what I'm saying you know in all my videos all my talking is not what uh, goes uh, with what everybody thinks. The world is going in a way and what I'm saying is going in an other direction. It's going the direction where we should all go but our heart is have a tendency to follow what it's not from his heart. Because we use to follow, we are used, we are educated to follow what uh, it's uh, been good for, for us, what is uh, uh, valuable, you know, what is making you having pleasure, what is making you uh, being somebody. That's what the world is doing. The world is going in that direction not in another direction, just that direction. And all what we can see when we do that, and not uh, just now, we are doing that for a long time now, you know, we human beings, we are compromise, compromising, com we are conf con conform to the, the norm, that we are putting there for us. We have all those conclusions that we establish our life with it. So that's what we are following, all of us. And we are trapped in that mode of life that we are being uh, doing, you know. And this mode is making uh, the world that we know. The world that we know is full of uh, ra uh, rival, uh, ambition, and everybody, where everybody he wants to have his own pleasure, his own autonomy to be secure in his own bubble. Maybe that's what we have to see, and maybe we don't realize that we are doing that. Most of us are enjoying that life without thinking that it is like that. That we are destroying each other, that we are fighting each other. We have wars. We have uh, uh, people who doesn't. Uh, like to be together anymore. They want to be on their own because there is too much problem living together. So they are they're apart from each other and we have less and less communication. We have less and less uh, the union to, to be uh, fraternally together, living uh, without any uh, any uh, problem because the way that we are um, stereotype stereotyped <laughs> we are being together the same uh, thing think we are uh, having the same mode of life we are we resemble to everyone and we are afraid not to be like the other one so we want to be in our own little world somebody that is recognized from everybody 
but the fact is that what you are at that time that you want when you want somebody to recognize you what do they see they see somebody who arrived to to be something uh, you know uh, somebody important uh, or not important somebody that is uh, capable of um, uh, having pleasure his uh, beautiful car his money his beautiful house all of that seems to be very very important in this world and we tend to to copy everybody who is doing that because we think that they are happy but in matter of fact if you think really they are not happy they are miserable with their money with all their their knowledge all that what they are doing to to have those pleasure because they are always repeating repeating repeat repeat all the time the same things for them to maintain those kind of pleasure that they have and that's the the problem with this world because we have those trouble you know those trakasri, those worried all the time to be able to become somebody to be uh, show everybody that we are there we are afraid to be nothing and that's what we are we are nothing if you are something it's because you appear in some kind of uh, prestance you know you can put a little crocodile there and say that you are somebody but you are nobody you are just a human like every other human in this world and we are all equal equal on on this term we don't have a difference between the big and the small the poor and the rich the the well-known man and the non nobody man we are all human and that's how we can be happy together if we treat each other the, that way but if we treat somebody that you can gain something from him you're going to be dependent from each other but that's it seems to me that's what's going on in the world everybody depending on everybody to get a little bit of happiness because the happiness that we are looking for is not the real one that what you're looking for is the security is the reconfort the comfort that you can get you are looking for a zone where you can you can be comfortable and that's what's going on all of that is going on all the time in our world and it seems that we are in the, in a prisoner of that activity without thinking we're doing it all the time not even questioning of what's going on questioning of who i am who i am because that's a big question in this world to be for yourself to ask yourself who i am that i am living without thinking like a robot running away running running all the way always after money after pleasure after something that i don't have that's what's going on do you think that it is good for us to live like that because when we do that we are not meeting each other we are getting apart from each other because everybody wants to show off who is and there is proud that come up that forbid us 
to love each other because we are taking us ourselves for somebody that we are not you know but what you are is a bundle of love when we don't have all that looking for something in life we can be just what we are was ourselves and to be yourself it means that you don't have any more this desire no more no more dependence on nobody in this world that you don't want you don't expect anything from anybody that's what means to be free to be happy and we have to learn how to do that but you see the humanity goes in another direction and it brings you with it and the current is so heavy that you have to have a lot of energy to not get get away from it with it You have to see how you can be strong. Yes, I was just saying, we we'll have to be strong. And your strongness, it's in your energy that you keep not to be entangled with the current of the humanity. Because when you know who you are, you are, when you know your capacity, but whatever society offers you doesn't have any meaning. It's all a bunch of story that they tell you for you to be happy. But you have happiness is yourself. You are what you are is happiness. What you are is okay. All what you have been told is the story of uh, Santa Claus, uh, the prince that will come and take you over and bring you somewhere in paradise. All those stories that we have, it's a bunch of lies, illusion, that we get entangled with it. And we make our life with that. Isn't it radical how we accept those stories as they are somehow comfort you? Because what you are looking is for comfort. Because your life is miserable. You pretend to be happy. But in a matter of fact, deep inside, there is a lot of problem, lots of duality inside of you. You have tendency to be loving one day and another day you are not. We are between two, we are, we are tear between the two. And that created suffering in this world it is it's just because we want to get attached to what makes us uh, having a, a comfort zone and when we have that comfort zone we want to keep it and we cannot keep that because life change all the time but you like your habits your little time with your privilege, you know, you love that. Because that, when you are in that, you forget all the trouble that you have to be face to yourself. And we don't want to face ourselves. We don't want to, re to see that we are in the world, that we do things that we don't want to do, but we do it anyway, and we want to forget that. 
We are not truly ourselves. We are truly what everybody wants us to be. And we want to please everybody. Because we are afraid if we are not pleasing them, that they are going to reject us. So we please everybody. That's what I'm saying in all my videos. But you see, it is something very deep. And you have to go deeply inside of the psyche of your mind, of what you are, what you have been made yourself. All these entangled, this confusion, you have to get inside there and to put order inside yourself, to make your life orderly and creative and harmonious and that you are not prisoner of what you don't want to be. You are not prisoner of an appearance that you give yourself, an image that you have. Because the image is to be accepted in this world. So you show off, you do everything that they do to be like them. And you find pleasure in there. And you get entangled, you get attached. And then you keep on going like that. Even if you don't want to do now, but you find yourself with a, a kind of vicious circle that you keep on going anyway because you have the habit to do. All the habits that we have, it's like death. It's like you put yourself to sleep and you're not there anymore. But somebody who is conscious of himself, who looks at things as they are, not at as he likes to see them, that person is awake and he knows what he is and he doesn't let anybody in this world to tell him how he must conduct himself. I think I'll stop there. I'll make you another one some other time to get a little bit more inside of our psyche to understand how it goes, how we can find a way into the labyrinth that we are stuck inside.